Welcome back everyone to uh, Jesus Tales and the parable this week is the story of the persistent widow, the widow and the judge. And Jesus begins it by saying he told them the parable that they should always pray and not give up. So we had a look the last two sessions at the judge and the widow, but what about prayer? What do we pray for? She is pleading to the judge, vindicate me from my adversary. Vindication. Give me justice. Prayer, in other words, for what is right, what is righteous, what is on God's heart. We can assume from the nature of this parable that what she wanted was right. The adversary was against her. An adversary is another word actually for the evil one. And there's a hint here of vindicates me against what the evil one, Satan, is trying to do in God's world. So what do we pray for? Do we pray for possessions? And sometimes that's a very necessary prayer. We need to pray that we have what we need. Do we pray for health for us or for others? Again, that's a very natural and reasonable prayer. Do we sometimes pray for miracles? I'm sure we do. Do we sometimes pray for other countries, our own country? There's all kinds of things we can pray for that are on God's heart, but we need to be careful. Does he really want something? And one of the greatest prayers is for us to ask God what is right to pray for because we want to ask what he wants to give. We need to pray for God's heart. So how then do we decide? What prayer do we pray for? Will we look for what the scriptures say? We ask God to direct us, and then we just pray also from the heart. It is perfectly reasonable to be praying for someone to be healed, although it's not always God's will. We still pray it until we learn otherwise. And so a real question, what are you praying for? What are you longing for God to answer? And then, secondly, what has God already answered in your life? It might be worth pausing the video at this stage to actually reflect on what God has answered in your life. Maybe to make a list. When I was preparing this, I was thinking, what has God answered in my life? And you go back through your lifetime and there's all kinds of things that I can see his answers to do with employment, to do with housing, to do with care when I was ill in some ways, all kinds of things. So just pause for a moment, stop the video and write a list. OK, well, I paused for long enough for you to stop and start again. I hope you did that. Look down the list. Give thanks to God for those answered prayers. And then be renewed in your desire to pray. But that is what Jesus would like us to do what he commands us to do. Let us pray.